of you probably know me, but I'm Bill Keefe. I'm the Dean of Business School. Um, welcome to TCNJ and our second annual Women's Leadership Summit. But I think we need to make sure that we're um, creating and furthering the leadership positions for women so that we can benefit from their thinking and their perspectives. We need to really fully appreciate um, what we're missing when we create structures or create atmospheres where we're not allowing and not providing opportunities for women leaders. And thank you to the planning committee and to Tammy for giving me a chance today to say a few words at the start of your experience to use my voice. Because as you, you may know or you will hear, for a while my voice was taken away. But what a difference a year can make in our lives and our journeys. My new realities today are that I have become known as the woman who stood up to Joe Paterno. Good or bad? How many of you have... And I offer you a little bit of advice. Take time and commit yourselves to discover, to clarify, to amplify, and to maximize your voice. Do this for your own good, but also do it for the greater good. I'd like to invite up Samantha Lincato, our gold sponsor, which is the Northwestern Mutual Sabina Financial Group. So Samantha, if you just If you're interested in learning more about the role of a financial advisor, sometime during the event, please talk to either myself or Karen Goldstein, and we'll give you all of our contacts. Um, so please um, join me this morning in welcoming um, Noelle Capuano and Mary Ellen To go. Um, there are documents that you need, uh, you should have. Uh, the first document, obviously, is a will. Uh, the number that you see on, that on the return. Some tips on how you can do that. Um, figure out what type of spender you are. Are you the person that, if you're using your debit card, you kind of lose track of what you're spending, or, and the same thing with a credit card? And they would say, I'm too young, or I don't have anything really. deserve to be loved because we go out of our way to be nice to others, to be respectful, to be mindful. Why is it, I mean, is there some unwritten law that says, but this doesn't apply to you? They're here to talk about uh, personal alliances, a view from the top, um, and we're very interested to get your feedback through questions. First, we would like to define Personal networks versus alliances. A brand for yourself. And sometimes you hear people say, well, what do you want to be known for? And it sounds like a lot of work, and it really, it shouldn't be. I think what you need to do is break it into three areas. The first being, what is your goal for, for using social media and developing your brand? Is it to elevate yourself within your industry or an organization? Is it to meet other like professionals? Is it to find a job? And once you do that, figuring out who your target audience is, who should you be speaking to? And then finally, how can you add value to that target audience? So when I, when I, but again, it's such an important part of being successful. If you, you know, aspire to have some career success, you really just gotta get yourself out there, get comfortable testing your limits. Um, then once I worked at a play and I got clubs, I found that, you know, no one in my field You know, business phone, know what you ask, gets past him without him putting it in his Blackberry. And I imagine today he's probably still using the Blackberry or some form thereof. But anyway, um, and so I adopted that discipline um, at that time. And I can't tell you how many times it's come in handy. In fact, there was a conference about golf. One of mine is tennis. I went to a tennis outing through. seminar was life-altering, and I still wonder that an experience that seemed so humbling could have also been so empowering. I walked out of that seminar with a little more self-awareness and a lot more swagger. I have Katie Orenstein to thank for that. Katie has racked up Ivy League degrees from Columbia and Harvard, publications and appearances in major news outlets from the New York Times to Good Morning America and many awards such as the Peabody Gardner Fellowship 
And the op-ed project has been chosen by the Echo and Green Foundation as one of 19 of the most innovative social enterprises in the world. We actually thought we could try a little experiment together, uh, an experiment like the one that Cassandra talked about. What do you think? Sure. Yeah, sounds good. So, um, Cassandra mentioned a little bit about my background. What she didn't mention is that I was trained as a folklorist. We're actually not concerned with media. Not so much. I mean, we use it. But we're not so much concerned with media or even just with women. Obviously, we work with a lot of women. But mostly we're concerned with the ideas and the individuals who are shaping public opinion and public policy and driving resources and driving talent and narrating the world. That maybe you didn't mention. Some of us have hang-ups over mentioning our fanciest credentials. We feel like we're bragging, or we feel like it will make us look pompous or alienate us from the people we're talking to. But at least allow the conversation to be one of empowerment rather than how might I look.